Okay, we're going to go into solving compound inequalities. So, um, solving compound inequalities. 2x plus 8 is less than negative 2, or 4 times x minus 5 can be greater than negative 5. When you solve an inequality, inequality means greater than or less than, you're going to want a number line, okay, with a zero in the middle, okay. Now, it's a compound inequality because there's two of them, okay. It says or, so I'm going to make a table, and I'm going to put 2x plus 8 less than negative 2, and then 4x minus 5 greater than negative 3. Okay, so x is on this side. The operations are times 2 and plus 8. So we're going to have to minus 8. When you plus or minus, the sign does not change. Then after that's done, we're going to divide by 2. Now dividing it can change, but only if we're dividing by a negative. Okay, I'm not going to divide by a negative. So the sign will stay the same in both of these operations. So I'll keep my sign the same when I subtract 8. That's 2 times x. Negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. Then I divide by 2. And the sign ain't going to change here because we're dividing each side by a positive. So x, negative 5. Now don't graph that until you get the other side solved. Now what do we got for operations here? Well, there's two of them. Okay. Minus 5, you're going to have to plus 5. And again, the sign doesn't stay here. I'll put, after I write plus 5, I'll write that we, it's going to be the same sign, meaning the same symbol, because remember, that can flip. Okay. Then you're going to divide by 4. Well, you're dividing by a positive or a negative. Well, we're dividing by a positive, so it's the same sign. It only, the sign switches if you're dividing by a negative. So plus 5, plus 5. 4 times x, that's 2, okay, so divide by 4, divide by 4, 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5, second PRB it to a half, positive half, so you have negative 5 and positive 1 half, okay, so circle, circle. Now it eats the number in the relationship here. If it eats the number, that means x, the number's bigger. Eating the number takes it this way. Okay? If it eats the value, the graph goes this way. When it eats your variable, okay, because that means x is less than the number, x is less than negative 5, goes this way. Now here, that's a greater than sign, so greater than takes us this way. Okay? So there's your answer. Okay? x is less than 5 or x is greater than 1 half. Okay, we're going to do another one. Inequality is not finding one answer, it's finding all the possible answers. See, so x can be anything this way or anything this way. Okay, on one side we got negative 6x plus 5, and that's a greater than sign. When the, when, the, when the nose points to the right, that looks like a nose. When it points to the right, that's the greater than. When it point. And then we got another greater than sign. Now some of you are like, well, how's that? Well, you're going to see here in a bit how this is going to shake out. I did not miswrite the problem. So you got two operations on the x side. you got a times negative 6 and a plus 5. So you're going to minus 5 first. And that'll be the same sign. I'll just put same. And then we'll have to divide each side by the negative 6. But when we're dividing by a negative, then the sign has to switch. So when I minus the 5, the sign won't be switching. Plus and minus, it never switches. Okay. Now you're going to switch the sign because you're going to be dividing both sides by a negative 6. Okay. Because switching the sign, when you're dividing by negative, it switches the value as if you multiply by a positive, so then we would also switch our sign. So that's negative 3. Now over here, these are the operations. So the first thing we have to do is minus 5. And that's going to be the same sign. Same sign when you plus or minus. And then we're going to divide by 2. Okay. Now you're not dividing by a negative here, you're dividing by a positive 2, so it's going to be the same. Okay. Or minus 15, my bad, not 5, it's 15. It's 15, it's 15. Don't come running back to my desk, I got it. So keep the sign. 
So 2 times x, 13 minus 15 is negative 2. Then, same. Because you're dividing, you're dividing by the 2, not the negative 2. The 2 is what you're dividing both sides by. Yeah, there's a negative on that other side, but that doesn't matter. Okay? So, we have negative 1 and negative 3. So let's talk negative 3, okay? If the nose points towards the x and the, it eats the number, nose point always points towards the smaller number. So if the nose is headed towards the x and x is less than, when the nose put, when it eats the x and nose to the number, then it's greater than, okay? So or, then you fill those out. x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than negative 1.